Let's look at the super uh, petrol prices. That's up by 6.8 uh, shillings to around 118 and a half shillings. This is quite a significant increase that we've seen and no surprise because petrol prices, diesel prices across the board globally are rising at these kind of levels. What kind of impact are you expecting? Okay, yes. Uh, the fuel prices uh, in Kenya is a big problem and uh, actually it's a zone in the fresh of uh, Kenyans. And uh, uh, this comes with a uh, uh, very bad effect. We can call them ramifications uh, that affect the whole of the economy. So um, we as an organization has been concerned of uh, the uh, regular increases of fuel. And uh, we had uh, initially negotiated for uh, a price control where the capping would be done and a price, fuel prices would be uh, predictable. But this is not what is happening uh, in the scene, uh, uh, as we speak. Yes. Uh, Peter, I mean, at the end of the day, when uh, you look at these prices, they are warranted given the fact that we are seeing, as I mentioned, a big increase in the overall Brent crude price globally. And you're saying that this is obviously going to have a negative impact. What can government do to try and avert these kind of rises? It, it seems that the, there isn't a lot of, uh, you know, tools that they can use to try and bring down fuel prices unless they absorb the cost themselves, which, of course, is not a very healthy thing for a government to do. Yes, uh, the uh, food prices, actually commodity prices, lies uh, exp exponentially when uh, fuel prices are adjusted upwards. And uh, some of the merchants take actually advantage of this to increase unfairly uh, uh, their uh, commodity prices. So we urge the government to uh, tame the fuel prices uh, because in the wrong land, uh, the government also starts to lose. When uh, uh, inflation uh, takes effect, uh, we start having uh, what you call uh, unless, civil unless. As you are experiencing right now, we are having uh, many workers who are as asking for uh, uh, salary increments. This is because of uh, uh, their uh, purchasing power is being eroded yeah. by uh, the uh, by, by, by inflationary. So uh, you are having uh, several uh, strikes, doctors and other persons are feeling that uh, their purchasing power has been eroded. So the government should come with a, a prudent uh, policy whereby we have predictable prices and uh, go for other shopping uh, areas where uh, instead of Abu Dhabi, where the fuel is quite expensive per peak. Okay, well, it's quite interesting, Peter, mm. that you, I mean, you're talking about uh, the purchasing power of consumers, and then when you look at the interest rate sitting at 18%, uh, unchanged because it is expected that inflation is, uh, is going to tick downwards. This is going to have a significant impact on inflation, uh, but we also know that the country is trying to diversify into ensuring that the, the energy needs are met. So it's not just about relying on kerosene or on fuel itself, uh, but ensuring that there is diversification. Is enough being done uh, to avert some of these spikes that we could expect going forward? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, uh, though I didn't get you properly, uh, what we are having uh, in Kenya is that uh, the oil policy is not light. We uh, we have been lobbying the government and especially the executive plus the parliament to come up with ways of containing this. Uh, though uh, we are talking of uh, uh, cheap fuel and uh, oil policies, we know that other places we have uh, uh, measures that uh, uh, keep in check this. So like uh, when we have uh, bus fares that uh, go up, this actually affects uh, uh, the economy across the, uh, the, 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 the transport industry. But for this time round, uh, we hope that uh, the uh, tra transporters will not be quick in increasing the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, charges for transport because uh, actually it has been adjusted by that just three shillings. So uh, we'll be looking into, uh, into uh, talking to the government and talking to our members not to increase uh, prices so that yeah. we can prevent Peter, the are inflationary you talking, uh, effect. Are you talking about fuel subsidies? Is that what you'd like to see coming to the fore? Uh, yes, the government should come in and uh, subsidize uh, the, the cost of uh, fuel. Because in the wrong land, 
uh, it will start to benefit. Because uh, 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 fair or uh, lower fuel prices will benefit the government more. Because uh, it, will, it, will, yeah, it, it, it can lower, it's, uh, 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 it can subsidize somehow. Because uh, uh, if it takes uh, the three shillings or the six shillings that uh, the pump prices has been increased with, uh, in the wrong run, the government stands to gain uh, from a stable economy instead of uh, it threatening the market uh, uh, market uh, yeah. uh, control or market uh, to take place. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic, Peter. Thank you so very much, sir, for joining us. Peter Murima, the CEO of the Motorists Association of Kenya.